Welcome to the Finance Studio. Today I want to show you how to create this six foot wide balloon heart from Quick Link Balloons. To make this heart, you're going to need 36 of these link balloons. And these are special because in addition to the nozzle, they have an extra tail on the end. So we can tie them end to end in one long chain. Now, in addition to the balloons, I'll be using my electric balloon inflator as well as a sizer box to size all these link balloons to eight inches in diameter. I'm going to inflate two link balloons at the same time until they're almost full and then gently press them up against the 8 inch hole in the sizer box, slowly letting air out until they just fit through that hole. Then I'm going to tie the two balloons together into a pair by wrapping the nozzle around twice and tying them together in a simple knot. I'm going to make six pairs just like this and then I'm going to tie all of those end to end. So take two pairs and tie the tail ends of one of those balloons from each pair around each other and that will start our string. To the string of four balloons, we're going to keep adding on new balloon pairs. So take one of the tails in that string of four and tie the tail end of another pair to it and keep doing this until we get 12 balloons in one long string. Next, we need to turn this string into a ribbon, and we'll do that by folding the string in half. So find the middle point and press them side by side so you've got six balloons on one side and six balloons on the other side with the center knot right at the top. Now you can hold this in your arms or you can lay this flat on the floor. We're gonna count down two balloons from that top nozzle and then the nozzles after that second balloon, you're gonna twist around each other so that they form an X. To keep this twist from unraveling, I'm going to slip in a balloon pair. Now I've taken two 11 inch balloons, inflated them to 6 inches in diameter, and tied them together into a pair. I'm going to slip this pair up against the twist that we just formed so that all the nozzles are touching, and then I'm going to take those two 6 inch balloons, wrapping them all the way around so they touch, and then I'm going to twist them around each other, placing one balloon on the front side of the ribbon and one balloon on the back side of the ribbon, and that will keep this twist from unraveling and make sure that my ribbon stays nice and flat as this is the base of our heart. From that twist we just created, we're going to count down two more balloons and put another twist in our strings, making an X, using another one of those six inch pairs to secure it in place, and finishing it off so that one of those small balloons is on the front and one's on the back. Now at the end of this ribbon, you're going to have the two remaining balloons that are hanging free, and we're going to take the tail ends of each of those balloons and tie them together. This will complete our ribbon of 12 balloons. Now we need to make a second ribbon of 12 balloons just like this, and then we're gonna make another string, but this one only has eight balloons in it, and we'll make a ribbon out of this one. So fold it in half so you've got four balloons on each side, count down two balloons from the top, and twist it right in the center just like we did with the other ribbons. Now because this one's shorter, there's only gonna be one twist in the center of this ribbon with the six inch pair. Finally, tie off the two ends, so you get this nice short ribbon and now we're going to join all these pieces together to create the basic shape of the heart. Take the two 12 inch ribbons and place them side by side and anywhere that the nozzles touch each other that's where we're going to join these ribbons together. So take one of those six inch pairs, put one of the balloons through the gap in the center of one ribbon, bring it around the back side and then pop it back through the front of the ribbon next to it. Then just like we did while we were creating those ribbons, twist those two six inch balloons around each other and make sure one sits on the front side and then one is pushed to the back. This is how we'll join all our pieces together. So I'm going to do this two more times everywhere those nozzles are touching each other so I get a nice large rectangle. To that rectangle I'm going to add the eight link ribbon we created earlier and place them together so that they create an L. Now if we rotate this L it looks like our heart. So just like we did a moment ago, attach the eight link ribbon to the larger rectangle anywhere those two nozzles touch using our six inch pairs. If you'd like a little extra help in creating this heart, I've got a set of written plans linked in the description box below that includes a complete supply list, detailed illustrations, and full written instructions. At the moment, our heart is looking pretty square, and I want to round out the lobes of the heart for a nicer shape. So I've inflated two more pairs of link balloons, and I'm going to tie them to the top of each lobe. 
So here you can see there's two sets of nozzles available and I'm going to tie one end of my link pair to each set of those nozzles and that will give me a nice curve shape to the top of my lobe. So once I've got that secured on one side, I'm going to do the exact same thing to the other side so we get this beautiful heart shape. Now you could totally stop here if you like the lattice look, but if you want to completely fill in the heart, take some more of those six inch pairs and just slip them into each of those gaps. So one balloon sits on the front side of the heart and one balloon sits on the back side. The tension between the link balloons and those pairs will hold the pairs in place and you don't have to worry about them falling out. So simply pop them in all over the heart until it's completely filled in and now our heart is ready for a party or celebration. If you enjoyed today's video, you should check out this one. Until the next time, remember, stay creative everybody!